A private investor has lent my client, Joni from Florida, $100,000 to use towards real estate investing for the next five years. Joni, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise. We have Tommy behind the scenes documenting everything for your viewing pleasure. Today's video is for a client of mine. Her name is Joni, and she is from Florida. Joni, you have a private investor who is willing to lend you $100,000, and you have, you said, between three and five years to pay back this lender. So let's uh, just go under the assumption that you can uh, trail that all the way out for five years. So what you're hoping to do is pick up some rentals here in Cleveland, utilizing those funds and eventually parlaying those investments into actual long-term 30-year financing uh, so that eventually you can have more time to take care of your aging mother. Now, a little bit more about you, what you're looking for. As far as asset class, you were open. You said A, B, or C. You don't want to go below C. As far as Section 8 goes, you're not really familiar with Section 8. If it makes sense, you're open to it, but it's not necessarily on your radar. You, uh, it appears, have already purchased two turnkey investment properties, so this is not your first uh, out-of-state investment ever. You've also purchased two notes for anybody else that's watching Joni's video, a couple things. Number one, these deals we're going to go over today, they're no longer available. This was originally sent to Joni in a private link. She's probably watched this show two months before you're watching it right now. The second thing is notes. If you don't know what a note is, that is where you have the ability to essentially purchase uh, the mortgage right so you would become the bank so Joni's got two notes she's got two turnkey properties but this is the first time that Joni you've ever uh, invested in real estate utilizing an investor right you've partnered with someone you know that's a great way that you guys out there uh, can build up your real estate portfolios if there are partners out there if there are people out there that you know that they are sitting on money and they don't know what to do with it they don't know anything about real estate or investments you could do what Joni did Joni's going out there she's doing the legwork she's finding the investments she's making the contacts and she's going to put that money to work uh, it appears you're going to pay your investor a return of seven percent that is a much higher return then you can get putting the money in a CD or just sitting in a checking account. So great job out of you, Joni. And because this is your first time ever working with some private money, you want to avoid super high risk because you don't want to lose the investor's money. That is uh, very admirable, of course. Um, so let's get right into it. What I would like to do first is show you the first property that I think will work for you. And that is 2513 Tate Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. That is a duplex, and it is listed for $54,900. Uh, it is being sold by a brokerage called Keller Williams. Obviously, I would assume 95% of those watching out here are familiar with Keller Williams. Let's take a look at what the agent said. Become a real estate investor overnight. Immediate income. Start your portfolio the easy way with hardly no dirty work. It's uh, interesting grammar, but okay. Welcome to Old Brooklyn. This two-family colonial is ideal for an investor looking for cash flow. Wonderful opportunity to upgrade and increase equity and rental potential. 
long-term tenants that would like to stay. I looked at the rent roll. Of course they want to stay, but we'll get into that. Currently on month-to-month -month leases. That's important for what we're going to do. Property being sold as is. A great portfolio builder. Schedule your private showing ASAP. This will not last long. Seller will entertain all reasonable offers. And it actually has lasted long. Joni, this thing has been on the market. You guys can see that. It's been on the market for 97 days. Now, with this property priced at what it's priced, it should have flown, man. 97 days for a duplex in this area of Old Brooklyn. What's going on? What's the issue? Let's take a look at the photos first. You got the, you know, you got the house, right? Front yard. Shh. More of the front yard. More. 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 Just pretty much the same shot. Shitty little garage in the back. There's your porch of the upstairs tenant. Uh, same picture again. And back to the front yard. That is it. Okay. So, my opinion, I don't think it's being marketed all that well. Um, but that is probably not the reason that it is still on the market, even though that price is ridiculous. Just, just so you know, Johnny, I don't know how many of my shows that you watch, but if you watch the Investment Properties for Sale show, which we send to all of you folks out there every day at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, if you're not subscribed to that show, first, of course, make sure you smash the subscribe button here on YouTube, but also in the show notes below. You can subscribe to the mailing list, and we'll send the show to you every single day at 1 p.m. Uh, I am selling properties on that show, right? Everything on the MLS Search and Analysis show, this is properties that are being sold by other real estate agents, and I'm giving you an investor's take. That show, those are all the listings that we are selling here at Holton Wise. We are the number one seller of rentals in the Cleveland market. Uh, but if you're familiar with that show, you're familiar with the market, uh, you would know that duplexes are in this neighborhood right now. They're selling for between eighty and ninety thousand dollars. So this is a nice little burr opportunity, in my opinion. And it doesn't have to be an overnight burr. This could be kind of a long-term burr, which I think is going to be perfect uh, for your specific position with your private lender in this hundred thousand dollars, because you have access to those funds for five years. So if it's supposed to be selling for eighty to ninety thousand why is this one not selling number one again i don't think the marketing is all that great there's really not much information on the property just a few crummy pictures of the outside uh the 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 what you might call it the uh, the remarks you know it's just a bunch of fluff but the, that's not the big thing the big thing is the rent roll okay both units are two one the upstairs is paying three ninety five. The downstairs is paying five hundred. That is a total rental income of eight ninety five a month. That Joni is not gonna cut the mustard. That's why this thing isn't selling. Those are beyond below market. Now the market rents for this. Okay, the down. The large unit, we should be getting seven fifty. At Holton Wise, we're getting close to seven fifty for pretty much all of our two bed, one bath duplexes. The up, not gonna be the same. Normally I would say seven fifty, but right now I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be six hundred, which will give you a monthly rental income, what you should be bringing in on this property, thirteen fifty. But I'm gonna give you the estimate that we're only gonna rent that upstairs for six hundred. Why is that upstairs unit gonna rent for so much lower? That is the question. Now, <clears throat> this is incredibly important that you understand this because this has a lot to do with the price. Eighty to ninety thousand. If you had a duplex that was renting for seven fifty and seven fifty, okay, I would actually be selling that for between ninety and a hundred thousand in Old Brooklyn. If you had a duplex that had the market rent of thirteen fifty, so that would be seven fifty and six hundred, I would sell that for between. 80 and 90,000. This particular duplex, though, it's probably, I don't want to get you excited. I know you want to do the burr. I do not think you'll be able to get this to appraise for 90,000. And I also don't think you'll ever get that upstairs unit to rent for as high as the downstairs. Because what you need to understand is this duplex was not a true built duplex. What this was, this was a large colonial home. This neighborhood has a ton of huge homes that at one point was converted into a duplex. Now, I would assume that we are good to go legally because here, now what this is, this is the back porch, and this is good. This is important, right? 
This was originally a single family property, but what we have right here, this is another form of egress out of that unit. You gotta have two forms of egress to get out of these upstairs units. So like what you can't do, you can't take one of these old colonial homes and just slap an upstairs apartment in there without like another doorway, right? You have, you know, probably the side door. That's how these are usually set up, the side door. That's how tenants get up and down. You can't just leave it like that. You need another place that the tenants can escape the building in case of a fire. So that's what we have here. They installed this doorway because, you know, originally that would have been just somebody's bedroom, right? You know, these these homes, you don't see uh, bedrooms with just doors in the middle, right? So you need to have a porch of some sort like that so folks can get out of there. So it's from a legal standpoint, you shouldn't have any problem renting it as a two family going forward not the issue uh but what it is is it's smaller right that upstairs unit is never going to be the size of like the true duplex units and those are what we're selling for between 80 and 90,000 with a 13 1300 or so rent roll and if we're getting the full 750 out of each unit 1500 bucks we're selling them for 90 to 100 so with yours it's always going to be worth a little bit less than those traditional duplexes, but you are still sitting on some serious burr money here because this thing is priced at only $54,900. That, in my opinion, though, the fact that the rents are so low and it's not a true duplex is why it's sat on the market. But if we take a hint from what the agent has said here, you know, they it sounds like they anticipated this selling immediately because the price was so low. It didn't, right? And in full caps, he's got written on here, Seller will entertain all reasonable offers. So I think you stand the chance of having us negotiate on this pretty hard. I bet we could probably go into this putting in a bid in the mid-40s. We might be able to pick this up for you for less than 50000 This would be a great deal for you. Now, what I want to do now, I want to quickly run through the numbers. But I don't want you to focus on the current numbers as much. I want you to focus on what you could do in the future here. So if we take the rent, eight ninety five a month, that's the current rent. That's what it's currently bringing in, 10740 You got to factor in. 44 for your repairs and maintenance, 44 for your vacancy and non-payment, 44 for your capital expenditures, right? Those are things like the roof, the furnace. Eventually, you're going to have to replace those. You got 30 years on a roof, then you're going to need to spend five, six grand, okay? For vacancy and non-payment, eventually tenants do move out or eventually we need to evict tenants. If you take a look at what I'm wearing right now, I got an I Love Eviction shirt. As an investor, guys, you know, nobody really loves evictions. Uh, they cost us a lot of money, but they are part of the game, so you might as well embrace it. Eventually, you're going to have to do an eviction. Evictions are your friend. When a tenant doesn't pay rent, you have one job and one job only, and that is to evict their non-paying asses. So we have to factor for that, right? We, we don't know if these two tenants are going to need to be evicted, but I will guarantee you, Joni, if you buy rental properties with us here at Holton Wise, eventually we will need to evict some of your tenants. So we're going to need to factor that in. So we're going to save $44 every month, right? You're going to put that in your pocket. Yeah, you're going to have that money coming back to you right now to use for whatever want you want, but you have to understand eventually Murphy's Law is going to get you and eventually you will need to do an eviction and they'll be a little bit, you know, they're going to be costly. It's going to cost you a few grand when you got to do it by the time you remove the tenant, go to court, get the bailiffs, get my moving crew in there and refresh the unit. You're going to spend a few grand. So you got to save up for that planning for that. Uh, which, by the way, Joni, if you dig my shirt or anybody else, if you dig my shirt uh, in the show notes below or on the merchandise tab on HoltonWise.com, you could buy this or other real estate investing related T-shirts uh, as a gift to you guys. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys 10% off anything in the store. Use the promo code HWTV10. HWTV10. Get yourselves 10% off on me. Back to the numbers. Taxes. $101 a month insurance. I'm sure a lot of you longtime viewers, you know this, new viewers, my team, we can handle insurance. We do the insurance for you. We find you the lowest rates. We shop it around from other brokerages. We should be able to insure this for you for 80 bucks a month. If you want an exact quote, click on the show notes below. Check out the Hogue Agency, my associate Kevin Hogue. He's my partner in that business. He will provide you with a customized quote. Water sewer, that thing's tough, man. That's tough to... Um, estimates uh, every tenant's going to be different but a fair estimate is 150 a month now 
one month it's going to be higher, one month it's going to be lower. It might be pretty low for like two years when you have a certain set of tenants in there, and uh, then you get new tenants and they use a lot more water. Or maybe you got the same tenants and then they have children, right? So that's going to fluctuate. It's going to go up, down. Um, like anything that we do here in real estate, these are variable expenses. Uh, we're basically taking averages, right? So if you had like 10 properties all similar to this one over the course of 10 years, your numbers should average out to what I'm talking about. But that does not mean they'll be exact every single time. But 150, that's a fair average. Lawn care, that's easy, 44 bucks a month. We got to cut it between 16 and 18 times a year here in the Cleveland market. Holton Wise, we charge, I think it's like 33 to $35 a cut. Uh, so 16 to 18 times. It averages out to 44 bucks a month. Property management, $89. We're simple. We charge 10% here. So that's going to take your average expenses, $596. So of that eight ninety five, you're spending five ninety six. It is two ninety nine a month in free cash flow, or three thousand five hundred seventy four dollars a year in free cash flow. Now, that is a six and a half cap. As far as how you want to do this, we've we've got a few options, and that's why I chose this property for you. What you can do right now, what you can do. You can pick it up. You can get a traditional loan. I don't even know if you need to utilize your investor's 100 k right now because if you just picked it up right now with a traditional loan, you only need to put down $13,725. Leaves you with a small mortgage, $41,175. It's going to be a teeny tiny payment, two hundred eight a month. That's going to leave you with a net cash flow after you pay that off of ninety-one a month or $1,078 a year. So as it sits, if you bought it at list price, it's a 7.9% return on your cash. But remember, I don't think you need to pay list. I think we can get it in the mid-40s, number one. And number two, the icing on the cake here is this property should be bringing in a ton more money. The real rents, okay, the real rents are going to be six hundred and seven fifty. Now, the agent said the tenants are on month-to-month -month leases. That is key because they are paying way, way, way under your market rent here, right? If you were to bring these things up to where I believe the max rent is six and seven fifty, that's thirteen fifty a month. That is an additional four fifty-five a month. So instead of making ninety-one a month, you could be making five more or less like five fifty or so, right? I don't know what the exact number is. Somewhere around five fifty a month. That is a ton of money. Now, how do you get those rents up? Here's the cool thing, right? You you have you have several options here. You can utilize your own money. I presume you might have more money than what your uh, investor has lent you. So you could utilize your own money, your own thirteen, fourteen thousand to put down since it's so teeny tiny, and um, you could purchase it. And then you could just slowly raise those rents. Like we can come in after a month or two of management. You know, the person paying three ninety five, maybe bump them up to four fifty. The person paying five fifty, bump them or paying five, bump them up to five fifty, and keep doing small increases every year to reduce your turnover, so you don't have to spend a lot of money on a turnover cost right now. Just keep that money in your pocket because it still technically makes money as is. So just slowly bump those folks up, and then when somebody does move out right you still have a bunch of that investor funds you know you had a hundred K you got that sitting there you can go in and you could spend the money renovating the units maybe spend five thousand eight thousand dollars decking the units out with the premium upgrades getting yourself the max rent that's one way you can do this deal another way you can do this deal if you don't want to utilize your own funds or you don't want to utilize bank financing at the moment the property is so damn cheap fifty four thousand nine hundred you have a hundred thousand you could just go in and make a cash offer right you could just buy it cash and if you want you could just use your small amount of cash flow that you're getting right now so if you didn't put a mortgage on it you got 299 a month coming in or 3574 coming in every single year you can just start paying down your investor debt if you want and then eventually when you do get two new tenants in there, after you've done your turnovers, you could do your refinance then. I mean, you could refinance this if you went that way any time over the next five years to cash your investor out. If you were to refinance this and you had thirteen fifty a month in rent coming in, remember, I don't think you'll get the full eighty or ninety what we're selling the true duplexes for, but I wouldn't see 
an issue with this property appraising in the 70s somewhere. There should be no reason this property wouldn't appraise somewhere in the 70s. Um, so the fact that you were able to purchase it at the most 55, but I think somewhere in the mid 40s, that would be a hell of a bird deal for you right there. So you just got a ton of options. You know, you can, you might even be able to work something out where if you have money in your own bank account right now, right, and you utilize your own money as the down payment, remember, you still have the full $100,000 of investor funds, and you could just pick this one up, not have to worry about doing a, a refinance later. You'll just have a super, super low mortgage, and eventually, just slowly, you'll increase those rents, and you'll be making 550 some odd dollars a month, and you still got your investors 500 or 100,000. I mean, you could do that, or like I said, you could pick it up cash if for whatever reason you can't um, you know, come up with the down payment money on your own or your lender has an issue with you taking some of your investor funds and using them towards your down payment because maybe your balance sheet doesn't uh, present you qualifying if you utilize those funds. You'll have to talk to your lender about that. They're going to have to really dive into your financing to see if they'll let you use that. Sometimes they get tricky with the source of your down payment funds. They want to see it come from a job. They don't want to see it come from another loan. So that's going to be something you'll want to talk to your lender about. Uh, but you might be able to work something out creatively there. Either way you slice it, though, you have a lot of opportunity with this particular deal, and you don't have to immediately buy it and immediately boot those tenants out because it still makes a little bit of money right now. So you just have the opportunity to pick this thing up, make a little bit of money, and then you have a bunch of money left over to purchase more. Because I know you want to work less so you can take care of your mother, one little tiny duplex like this ain't going to take care of mom. So we need to think, how can this be a little building block towards the rest of our portfolio? So what we're going to do now, we're going to go to a quick commercial break, hear a word from the sponsor of today's show. Then I'm going to get into the second duplex I found for you. Property management is a lot more than just placing tenants and collecting rent. Who you work with can be as or even more important than the properties themselves. With over 60 years of cumulative experience, the principles of Evergrow Property Management have one of the most tried and tested property management businesses in the Indianapolis, Indiana market. Armed with the latest technology and a full range of property management services, including property evaluations, tenant screening, rent collection, maintenance, legal compliance, and eviction services. Evergrow Property Management is the top property management choice of rental property owners, turnkey providers, and real estate agents in the Indianapolis, Indiana market. Visit evergrowpm.com for more information. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business, who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to HoltonWise.com today. All right, Joni, welcome back. Now we're going to get into the second property for you. <clears throat> and this one, we're going to take like a even different strategy, right? The thing with Burr deals and stuff, like I know like a lot of investors think, oh, I can get somebody to loan me 100 k and I'll just take that, do it cash, refinance it. I'll get all my money back, have enough money to completely pay off my investor and get into this next property completely no money down. These like bird deals, guys, they're not just like sitting on trees, right? They're not just growing on trees out there. So you have to get a little creative. That's why the previous deal, like, yeah, you could probably do uh, something pretty close to that. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to get all the money back out because you still have to spend money renovating the units. You're probably going to spend, you know, five to seven thousand dollars per unit. That's why I recommend utilizing some of that cash flow now to fund that eventually, right? Because all that stuff that I mentioned, like your non-payment, your vacancy, right? Right now, tenants are in there, so that money is, I didn't include it in your actual return, but that money's still sitting in your pocket until there's a vacancy, right? We have to factor the money in for a vacancy, but if you don't have an actual vacancy up to that point, right, that money's in your pocket, so you can use that. Um, so that, you know, could fall into one of those traditional bursts, but w what I've got for you here is something a little bit different, right? Because you said he wanted to be super low risk because 
you have an investor's money at stake here. Now, the previous property, that was a C-class property. So that property is in a higher risk area than this property. This is definitely a lower risk deal. But um, to get yourself into one of these nicer B-class neighborhoods, get yourself some nice cash flow, uh, you don't have enough funds um, to actually go in and buy something and then refi out and get all your money back, number one. And then number two, the, again, these aren't just like sitting out there on the market like at incredibly discounted rates where you guys can always do that. You know, you kind of got to get lucky for deals like that. Or you could do what I suggest now and get a little bit creative with how you're going to work with your private investor. So... Uh, what we've got, <clears throat> 1544 Warren Road, Lakewood, 44107. This property is listed for $175,000 by a company called MC Real Estate. Let's read what they have wrote. Location, excellent investor or owner-occupied opportunity in prime Lakewood location. Price to sell quickly. Fully occupied duplex, don't miss this one. Spacious inside, hardwood floors. Awesome third floor space for third bedroom option and additional storage. Eh, I don't really buy that. Don't listen to that. All these duplexes, they all have like huge unfinished attics. Typically, it's cost prohibitive to finish these. If you could find a property priced normally, like price what other comparable properties that don't have finished attics are, go for that. Pick it up. But to actually finish it yourself, it's usually cost prohibitive. Large porches, updated electrical panels, uh, utilities. Two-car detached garage, backyard, vinyl siding, easy to rent for great cash flow. I totally agree with the agent here. This is an amazing neighborhood. You're getting closer to the west end of Lakewood. Uh, if you're in Lakewood, I've, I've categorized Lakewood on the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods as a B neighborhood. If you don't know what that is, in the show notes, i got a link to the Ultimate Guide. Check that out. Uh, but the cool thing about Lakewood is the further west you go in Lakewood, it really gets to be more or less like an A-class neighborhood. Now, what that does, what being in a nice neighborhood does, it gets you a lot of rent. Uh, right now, these are actually rented under market. Uh, one unit, two bed, one bath, 800 a month. The other unit, two bed, one bath, 825 a month. So we're bringing in 1625 or 19500 a year. As far as upfront money, we don't need to put any into it because it's fully occupied. Let's just run through the numbers quickly. Rent every month, 1625 same thing, we got to factor in those repairs, maintenance, vacancy, non-payment, CapEx, 81 bucks a month. Taxes, they're pretty high in Lakewood. That's the one draw to Lakewood, but hey, you want a nice and high-demand neighborhood, and there's a reason that it's in demand, right? Because it's got nice city services. That costs money. You're going to have to pay for it. 394 insurance. As I said, we could insure this for you. Should be about 100 bucks a month. Should be a little more because uh, it's a you know more expensive policy. You know, the property's worth more than the previous one. Water sewer, again, it's a duplex. Same number of bedrooms as the last house. So we're going to go 150. Truth be told, it might be a little lower because you're going to get higher quality tenants. They tend to preserve water a little bit better. As the, the tenant base quality goes down you know their responsibility goes down so they tend to waste services um, lawn care 44 property management it's a little higher because the rent's higher obviously 162 so it takes our total expenses of to 1093 a month on average so if you're bringing in 1625 a month you're spending 1093 a month on average you should be able to put 532 a month in your pocket or six thousand three hundred seventy five dollars a year in your pocket but the question becomes how do you do this how do you buy this property right because your investor has given you a hundred thousand dollars so what do you do if you want to get a 30-year loan that's going to require a forty three thousand dollar deposit you're going to have a mortgage payment of 665 a month which what is that going to do based on our current numbers that is going to make this property cash flow negative 133 a month or lose $1,605 a year. So now you're probably watching this. You're probably pretty confused. Like, what the hell, James? I don't even understand. You haven't laid out a plan for how I'm going to pick this up. And if I do pick it up, it's actually going to lose money. That's where we got to get creative, Joni. That's where we got to look for value as real estate investors. That's how we make money. We got to find value where other people don't see it. Before we get into exactly how I want to find that value, I want to show you more of the property, okay? Here's the front. 
and we're just going to scroll through these. You got some nice tile floors. Units, you know, these are nice, clean units. You guys watch a lot of my content on Holton Wise TV. Check out those Tenants from Hell videos. Like, you don't see units that are in this nice shape. Like, these are nice, beautiful units. Like, yeah, truth be told, this kitchen is a little bit outdated. I'd probably like to see you do a little bit more premium upgrades on a, a turnover. But more or less, you could tell these tenants to take nice care of this unit. Like, this is the kind of stuff you get when you're in a high-class neighborhood, right? And, you know, we have a pretty nice product for them. So your turnover costs, they're not going to be too much. And uh, when you get to market rent, the market rent is just so much higher than what they're actually renting it for. What we can do is actually rent both of these units for $9.50 a month. If we rent both of these units for $9.50 a month, that is going to put an additional $275 a month in our pockets. So that what appeared to be a loss of $133 a month is actually a cash flow of 142 a month so if we're getting 950 a month which is what we should be getting that's 142 a month in cash flow as far as a cash on cash return for you Joni that can be an unlimited cash on cash return for you why because how I think you should go about financing this asset now to do the loan, to do a traditional 30-year loan, you need $43,750 down. You have $100,000 from your private lender at your disposal. What you could do, you'll have to talk to your bank. If you have no other assets in the bank, if you don't have any money, if you are totally broke, um, the bank is probably not going to allow that lender to just wire in $43,000 for you and then have you utilize that as a down payment. They're probably going to flag that. They're probably not going to you know, qualify you for the loan. But if you've got other assets and you could have otherwise funded the deal, they probably would let you do that. In the event they don't let you do that, what I think you could do here, this would be a great opportunity for you to go ahead and bring in your private investor instead of as a lender you could bring them in as a passive partner you guys can create an agreement you know create a uh, business arrangement you know you're going to want to get attorneys okay you're going to want to have an attorney draft all of this you don't want to try to do this by yourself it shouldn't be too much to draw up some simple documents like this some simple partnership documents uh, you might spend a grand or two no big deal but what you can do is you can have your partner put the home in their name get the mortgage in their name they supply the down payment and then you, as the managing member of you guys' new business, you're the person who's going out, finding the deals, finding the property managers, you know, doing the work. You can retain some type of equity. In my opinion, is a 50-50 equity split fair? Probably not. I think the money partner would need to take more. I think uh, considering the fact that you're having third-party people manage it and you're still paying full freight for property management. I would think like a 70-30 or an 80-20 split would be more fair, but who knows? It's really about what you and your partner can negotiate what works for you guys because you said that your partner, they, they're not using that money. That, they, they have the money just sitting there. They have no use for it. They don't know anything about real estate. They don't know where to start. That's where you come in. That's where you can add this value because what we could do here, we could pick up a nice quality asset that once we get the rent up to market rent, it's going to kick off $142 a month. If you guys are splitting that 50-50 or 70-30, whatever it is, that is a much higher return than they're going to get from putting their money in a CD or the bank, and they didn't have to lift a finger. They didn't have to do anything. And the investment itself is incredibly safe. That's why I chose this for a potential partnership opportunity for you. It's not like a, a lower-class neighborhood where we're going to be doing evictions all the time, right? If you purchase this property in this neighborhood, you know, with the high-quality tenants, you saw the photos. You saw how nice their units looked. I don't think you're going to ever be the person wearing an I Love Evictions eviction shirt however if you go in the c class uh you know that's going to be more prevalent or if you go into those higher risk areas like the dnf class you're going to face that um so that's how i would 
look at this though. I would definitely check out with your partner. Hey, let's, you know, with your lender rather, hey, let's let's become partners. Let's do this deal. Let's put it in your name, have an attorney draft everything up, keep everything above board, and you'll collect just a little bit and whatever you're making, that's an unlimited return for you. Or like I said, if you've got other financing on your books, on your P&L, so to speak, if you otherwise could qualify yourself, you could use this money as a loan from the investor. But if you have no other assets, your bank is probably not going to let them just lend you this money. They're going to want to know where the source of that money is coming from. So that's all I've got for you, Joni. Those are two options uh, for you. I think they could both work. They're both a little bit different. You know, the first one, more the traditional Burr route. The other one, seeing as you can't get into a nice stable neighborhood doing a traditional Burr like that, and maybe you don't have $43,000 to put down on a property right now, this is a way you can use this investor that trusts you uh, into a partnership relationship that could work out beneficially for both of you. You are essentially going to earn an unlimited return because you didn't put your money into the deal, and your partner is going to earn a much better return than they could have otherwise because you went out, did the work, found the contacts, and bought them a safe property. The worst thing you could ever do is take your, your partner's funds here and invest it in some dumpy property in the ghetto, and then you actually lose money for your investor. You never want to do that. So that's why if you are going to partner with them, I think this is a nice, solid, safe investment. That's all I've got for you. If you guys, you and your partner or your lender, you want to make an offer on one or both of these properties, just send my team an email, sales at holtonweiss.com. We'll handle everything for you. If you'd like to talk to some more lenders about your options and how you could work out having your partner send you some of that money and seeing what will and won't pass their underwriting, same thing. Send us an email, sales at holtonweiss.com. We'll send you a list of our lenders who are used to working with investors, who are used to doing loans for non-owner occupied purchases and they'll see exactly what they can do for you after they take a deep look into your financials everyone else out there if this is the first time you've ever watched the show here on Holton Wise TV do yourselves a favor and smash that subscribe button don't forget to click the links below or go to the merchandise store on HoltonWise.com if you'd like to get yourself some investor swag like I've got here today as always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states 
allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.